Hello, hello everyone. The stream is starting. Hope everyone's doing okay today. Hi, Han. It is, in fact, party time. Just had to restart the music because it swapped over to something copyrighted. Gotta get a better setup for my music, because SoundCloud does not. <laughs> SoundCloud I have to fight with a bit. Okay. So, new week, new stream. I've done a little bit of work on the character. Here, let me go to the passive tree. So, I've been playing around with uh, Supreme Decadence, uh, which is from uh, Elegant Hubris. Uh, basically, or sorry, not Supreme Decadence, uh, Supreme Grandstanding, uh, where you share charges with uh, allies and enemies. So, I uh, gain uh, Frenzy charges via my dagger on kill, and... Things get killed very often because of the fact that I spawn things to be killed constantly with the penance mark. So, I always have frenzy charges, and I share them with my minions, which gain about 4 million damage from that. Which is pretty good, and that's pushed me over the 20 million damage mark. I've moved things around a little bit in conjunction with that. I have less cluster duels going on right now. And I've moved some of those points that were previously over there down here. So I was using the cluster jewel calculator basically to find cluster duels, specifically uh, elegant hubris with grandstanding, that have minion skills here for the protection mastery, and then one of these other ones. Uh, in this case, it ended up being Slumlord. Or not Slumlord, it ended up being Quick Recovery, which became Slumlord. I picked Asylum to become Slumlord over here because that allows me to take the, the Protection Master to give me Corrupting Blood uh, immunity. I intend to go for this Slumlord next and use that to push my damage up. I've also gone down here and grabbed some more Energy Shield and less physical damage while in full Energy Shield. Hi, Ron. We've also moved some of our uh, our points going over to here to get Soul Thief. This gives 2% of energy shield, or about 107 energy shield uh, on kill. And seeing as, again, we use Penance Marks, so we spawn three Phantasms whenever the thing is hit once a second. Uh, I can get, effectively, if it's, if it's uh, pixel perfect, and it usually isn't. But if it's pixel perfect, I can get 6% energy shield regeneration a second just by killing those. So that is pretty nice. That's mainly that that's just mainly to supplement damage. Uh, and then I picked up evasion per uh, intelligence rather than uh, dexterity because I have 620 intelligence and 164 dexterity. And then I made a small change with my gear. I picked up the 100 life regen while moving on Corpse Walker, because that's really powerful. And most importantly, I played around with my flasks a bit. So I have a, a sulfur flask here with uh, life regeneration per second. Uh, percent, percent life regeneration converts directly to percent energy shield regeneration, thanks to Zealot's Oath. I had thought that it was percent of life regen that is then converted the raw value to uh, to energy shield, which would have been zero basically, or like point zero zero three of a of a of a point of energy shield. But no, it's it directly converts and then it does the percentage. So the reason why I'm using a sulfur flask here, which as most would assume is useless for me with the forty percent increased damage, is because it creates Consecrated Ground on use, so if I activate it, 
Consecrated Ground, that's 5% life regen a second, or energy shield regen a second, and 50% curse reduction. As long as I'm standing on this particular spot where there is Consecrated Ground. So, if I activate this, and I'm not moving, like if I teleport to a different area, and then I activate this, I can get 8% energy shield per second regeneration on top of the already... Where is it? I've recharged... We're... Oh, 627 uh, energy shield regeneration a second. So, and that's going to go up if I just walk around and make some corpses. Oh, a little bit. So about 650 energy shield regeneration, and then I have another 8% that can come from this, which can bring it all the way up to 13 or 1400 energy shield regeneration a second. So this is functionally a life flask for me. Also, the increased effect that uh, the enkindling orb is giving me is, is in, in fact affecting the life regen. So it's gone up from 3% to effectively 5% on the just the explicit. And then the Consecrated Ground adds another 5%, so that's a whopping 10% of my energy shield regenerated a second. Before increases in uh, regeneration uh, actually have an effect, which also help. Changed out my Quicksilver. Now it's... I managed to get a 70% increased effect Quicksilver with 10% increased movement speed affix, so... Whatever... 50% times 1.7 is, I think it's like 90% or something, I don't know. Uh, got an armor armor flask, an evasion evasion flask, and a uh, chill, a, a, a chill and freeze avoidance uh, phasing flask. I should still have my... Yeah, so I have 33% chance to avoid being frozen here. And, oh, this is not the one I expected. Where is it? Okay, so these are the Ignite and Stun Avoidance. Then I have the Freeze Avoidance there and Freeze Avoidance here. So I have about 82% uh, Freeze Reduction from there. And then this, as long as this is running, caps it off to make me Freeze Immune. So I have Chill Resistance, Stun Resistance, Freeze Immunity, and Ignite Immunity. And Corrupting Blood Immunity. And Chaos Damage Immunity. And Poison Immunity because I have Chaos Damage Immunity. So, that means that I'm immune to either three or four of the Ultimatum modifiers. Which is awesome, so I can farm Ultimatum. So, we're level 92. And we have a job today. We are going to get to level 93. We're off by 37% XP. And we're going to get there. But first, to actually be able to achieve that, because we cannot achieve that as is, we are going to pick up the Pantheon stuff that we do not have. Specifically, we're going to pick up uh, Method for Unaffected by Burning Ground, Tunnel Trap for Curse Reduction, and then... Ashen Arrow, Megara, and Yoris for the Solaris upgrades. So Ashen Arrow will be from the... It's just called Ashen Forest, I think. I don't remember which one it is. Ashenwood. So that'll be where Ashen Arrow is. And then Method is in the summit. I know because I've gone to kill Method every single leg to get that particular passive. Uh, Megara, it will be in the underground sea map because that's uh, Mervile. I just double check. Yep, that is, in fact, her. Okay, those, that's three for now. We can uh, worry about the other ones in a moment. I don't remember where Yoris... Or... Wait, Tunnel Trap, I think, is in Bog. If I remember correctly. 
You're 15? You're 14. You're 14. General trap? No. It's there's a there's a big swamp one area. Erd Lake? No. I don't remember what the big swamp one is called. I don't think it's mineral pools. No, it's definitely not. Mud Geyser! Yes, Sentinel Trap. Okay. There we are. I'll find yours after this. Okay, I'm just going to power up the maps. And then we'll jump into it. Just projectiles, sure, whatever. Steel, steel charges, that's fine. Can't do anything about that because they can already steal charges natively. Okay, cool. I'm going to jump into all of these maps and just run through them as quickly as I can. Step away. So we're going to show up our defenses here, which will help a lot, and then we're going to start getting into leveling. So I'm going to want the curse reduction mainly so that we can deal with things like temporal chain slowing us down, and I, I'm i mostly immune to the curse, the elemental, uh, elemental resistance curses, so conductivity, flammability, frostbite, elemental weakness, but... With a little bit more curse reduction, I should be, like, completely immune to them. Uh, I'm gonna want Mephod just for general mapping, because Burning Ground sucks, and... It's gonna really help once we have Megara here, because take no extra damage from critical strikes if you've taken one in recently. Which, and recently, is in the last four seconds. So we can only take one critical strike every four seconds, basically. Which is really good. I've been kind of debating between going Lunaris or Solaris. Uh, Solaris is more of a uh, you don't get hit kind of build, so it's more for evasion, and Lunaris is more for you do get hit, you, so you go for armor. But I want the uh, critical strike avoidance from Megara, so I'm mostly going to focus on that. And then I'm going to go for ailment avoidance from critical strikes just to help deal with shock and stuff. And, like, the actual few remaining ailments that I can take. Okay, I'm going to the Wildwood, because this is only a tier 11. Zoom. Oh my gosh, I feel so fast. <laughs> the increased effects Quicksilvers are amazing. I don't even have Phase Run going yet. Okay, what does the merchant have for us? Oh, also, also, we got a new update to the game. So now, whenever, whenever a merchant pops up in the Wildwood, it is now on the mini-map, so you don't have to go looking for them every time. It is so nice. Okay, let's see. Are any of these worth anything? Whoa, what? Uh, uh, apparently this is worth a divine. Okay, I'll take that. <laughs> apparently it's worth a lot of money. Okay, whatever. Yes, Tortle. Tortle has basically become a permanent part of the party now. We're not going to... We're not going to get rid of Tortle. He is too good now. And I've gotten used to moving him around now, so when I get to enemies, I just convocate and put him over here. So I kind of keep an eye on where he is, and thankfully he's giant, so it's very easy to keep an eye on where he is. Well, there's a lot of purple here. There must be something around here. Not that direction. Need to find the dense purple. 
This is more blue. There it is. Oh, there's a village. Okay, I have to be very careful here. These things also do a bit of physical damage. It's not just chaos, so I do actually have some concern still. But generally, I'm pretty safe against them. Oh, what's that? Compelling etching. Oh. The compelling etching is not compelling. Also, another new change. As soon as the uh, portal appears, it erases every monster there is to fight in the Wildwood. So there's no running around looking for monsters to kill for those last few wisps. Just if you run out of out of light, you run out of monsters. It's very final. Which means you technically can have less wisps out of a particular Wildwood. But I mean, whatever. There's no longer this this feeling like you have to go searching. Okay, we'll see how this this these wisp empowered things go. I do have three thousand purple wisps. So that'll be a bit of a thing. Durations. Okay, there's a hypnotic guy there. Wait. Oh, the bridge is over here. Just getting completely lost. The damage in this build is really strange because it does not feel like 20 million damage because it takes there's like some some power up time involved. So they usually don't actually reach the damage maximum that you see for bosses specifically. But each spider is pretty damn powerful. I used to try to aim for around like two and a half, three million DPS for my builds uh, a long time ago, basically. And the each of these spiders essentially is about 2.2 million DPS. So I have about 20 little creatures that are the power of a weekend game build. Each. Phase run. And goodbye. I'm not going to do too much more in this map. I want to mainly get the souls back to Sin so that uh, I can power my Pantheon. That's my main objective. Plus, I'm not going to be getting a huge amount of XP in tier 11s, 12s. Was uh, it's thirteen? Oh, yeah, that's the most important one. That's Megara. Just put this up for sale. Okay. Apparently, this is worth five divine. Sus. Hmm. Okay, I'll play that game. But up for five. I do not expect this to sell, but we will see.
uh, the effect that it has perfect spell suppression is what's boosting it a lot, and then mark effect is good. No, not sussy, just sus. Uh, one of these days, I would really love to get my fourth Wildwood Ascendancy. That would be so nice. Every time I see the uh, Wildwood, I think of it. I'm like, man, that would be so good. Unfortunately, it's impossible to find a King of the Mist. And once you're in the area, you can't just go out of it and like call other people in. Nor can you swap characters. You have to find it organically on each character. And as far as I can tell, they're either extremely rare or just I don't understand how to find them. Because I've had, like, zero luck with finding Kings of the Mist. Had that one encounter that uh, I posted on the channel, and that's the only encounter I've ever had with him on any character this league. I'm aware that you need to be in a tier 14 plus area, but... I mean, there might be some other condition I'm not aware of, because that hasn't been enough to find it up until now. Perfect Forest Warrior. It's worth something. Uh, no, nothing else. I should actually look that one up. I completely forgot that there was more to the Wildwood Ascendancy than just the three three levels because it just it doesn't really it doesn't really occur to me anymore. Seeing as it's not something that is very obvious, and like I've been doing a lot of tier sixteen maps. So, I've been sitting in the tier 14 plus range for a while. So, I don't know what's up with that. Yeah, yeah, Diamond Shrine. I always crit now. Yay, I don't attack. <laughs> oh, Whetstone's nice. I actually need whetstones right now. I'm kind of running low on a lot of the basic currency now. I have actually been avoiding the wildwood in some maps because, like, when I'm powering up and, like, getting myself XP. So, maybe I haven't gone into as many Wildwoods as I think, but... I don't know, I feel like it's something that I definitely do, so... I don't know. And... goodbye. Okay, so let's make Gera now. That just makes me think of uh, Megara from uh, Hades, like one of the Fury sisters. One of, one of the Furies from Greek mythology, I believe. I love jumping into the middle of a pack and convocating to just pull everything in there. Have you surrounded? Yay, Miasma! Oh, I can choose between Miasma or Razor Dance, both of which do not affect me anymore. I'll pick Razor Dance because Razor Dance doesn't affect my minions. But Miasma can. My minions do not have good chaos res. Just me.
Critical strikes are unlucky. Uh, that doesn't matter because I don't crit. My minions barely crit. Ever. They're not really set up for that. I want to see if I can get uh, Miasma soon, because as soon as I see Miasma pop up, I want to grab it, because that ensures that I will get more levels of Miasma. Nope. Keep going Razor Dance. I mean, I'm not sad about picking Razor Dance, like, that was still a good choice, but I'm going to see if I can get Miasma to pop up soon, so that I can make sure that I'm just picking levels in Miasma and Razor Dance. Mm. Oh, I never actually used Ravenous. I should use that. Level 21 Flesh Offering. Not really worth much. Uh, I'll let things block me. That's still safer. than taking something that can hurt me. I wonder where Turtle is and how he's doing. Can't actually see. <laughs> no, I want... I really... Mm, how much do I need lost charges? Pretty badly. It's like Raging Dead. Okay, you know what? Turtle, come over here. Okay, Turtle's fine. He has not taken any damage. Between the meat sack and him, like, there's not really much damage that anyone takes. Oh, wow. Okay, that is an inscribed ultimatum. Those are worth a lot of money. I'll take Raging Dead, too. Unless the next... Unless the next wave has something really good, I will stop on one nine because I want I want that ultimatum. It's worth so much money. Apparently, they're up to one hundred and fifty C now. Oh yeah, I'm not doing one an extra round for scourings. Fuck that. Even if this is easy, I want the ultimatum. Yes, how much is this worth? Uh, yeah, this is looking about 150c. Far sacrifice the offspring. Double sacrifice divination cards. So the price is not taking into account what the actual thing is, and I don't know what the offspring is. Let's see. Some other monitor. It is for Rislotho's Coil. Oh, actually, that's good, because it looks like these cards are about 10c a piece. So. Okay, so completing this will be worth about 50c on its own. So this actually is decent. That's actually really good. Cool. That might actually be worth listing for higher than I... And I'm looking at it for... I'm going to put that up for a div. We'll see how it goes. Put you in the pile. Okay. Let me go turn in Megara. And I guess and Mephod too. Oh, was that the wrong Mervile? Wait, Megara, I thought Megara was. Or Megara? How do I... Hold on a second. 
Meg era. Crater. Oh. Oops. Well, okay, so she is a good one if I wanted to go Brian King, but I don't want to go Brian King, so that's kind of useless. Craters. That's the Firestorm one. Okay. No, I don't need to double the bosses. Okay, cool. I'll just do that. Nope, can't do that. The chance to avoid Poison, Impale, and Bleed is really dangerous for this build, because it, it can cut... I mean, whatever percent it says for avoidance is how many percent it cuts all the, the damage by, so that removes 50% of the damage of the build right there. So that is why that cannot be done. Like, one, the one and only modifier on this that is actually really dangerous. Okay, crater. Things feel like they're running a bit slow today. Not, not sure what that's about. Into the Wildwood. Actually, this is the first time I've played since the last patch. I hope that does, doesn't have anything to do with it. Oh. It's the Winter Trio. Okay. Oh, these actually drop a lot of wisps, I forgot. Yeah, no, I, no I'm happy to see these then. Ooh, yes, that's a lot of wisps. Nom, 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 nom. Uh. Oh, there are no more wisps? A bit more here. I love that Enfeeble does not affect me. Since it only the curse only affects players, and I don't deal the damage. A rarity, nice. That is worth money. Whoever's hitting me, please stop. Thank you. Wow, they listened so politely. And it's not because my spider stabbed them repeatedly. Oh. Maps. Cool. I like maps. That night. This while I'm here. Oh, yeah, I have a uh, Syrian X on this. I completely forgot. And some area, area decks. A lardex. That's called. Ooh, this starts with profane monsters. That's good. I can use that. First of all, give me a huck. I gave huck a a haste aura. Which is quite good. Okay, plus portal. I really hate having portal on my weapon swap because it kills all my spiders. 
as soon as I have to place a portal, but I mean, the alternative is I sacrifice one of my gems, and all of my gems are extremely valuable. Everyone focus on them. Okay, can you firestorm me? No, you're just gonna ignore me? Okay. Let's bring everyone over here out of the firestorm. Need my imitation and my hayons. How did you roll? 19%. It actually makes you a pretty good hayons. Hmm. No, I want a 20% if I'm going to take it. Hayons is actually a really good pick if you are doing frenzy charges and lightning. Because it scales, I mean, it scales damage on, uh, on lightning. I mean, it scales damage on frenzy charges if you do lightning damage. And that's good if you use battle mage and do lightning damage and have frenzy charges. I mean, just five frenzy charges is enough to give, for it to give you 100% lightning damage. And it already has a pretty high base already. Even if you don't have that much frenzy charge scaling. Ooh, uh, Razor Dance, because Razor Dance does nothing to me, or my minions, and Miasma does nothing to me, but it does damage to my minions. Always privilege Razor Dance. More Razor Dance. I can just get Miasma now. More Profane Monsters. I will be doing better. Oh. Trying to take damage now. Stoppable Monsters. I can't slow things to begin with. To the best of my knowledge. I don't even have a method of hindering. Wait a minute, I don't have Vol Blight in my build! Why the fuck should I have Vol Blight? Oh my gosh, that would give me a bunch of damage. I should do that. <laughs> uh, oh, Miasma. Yay! Okay, I can probably go to round 10 with just leveling the Miasma now. If I can survive that. My golems aren't happy right now. Oh my god, that is a max crit, almost max rolled azimuth touch with crit. Oh, that's not worth as much as I thought it would be. That is worth the ADC. Okay, that is actually pretty good, though. Yeah, I'll take that. Somewhere between 20 and 80. I don't know if it's going to be worth it, though. Ooh. Why am I struggling to keep up my spiders? What's going on? Aid. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, am I in any danger? I don't think I'm actually in, like, a lot of danger yet. I'm at risk, but I'm not in danger. I just need to be careful. Need to play very carefully. Okay, this is I don't think I could do it in the round. Hmm. No, there's no reason to risk it. There's no 
benefit, as far as I know, to completing the uh, all the rounds, so... Actually, there is, I think, in the last round, there's a chance of spawning the Trial Master, uh, and he can drop good stuff, but, I mean, there's only a chance, and... Ooh, Dragon's Heart! That's valuable. Yeah, there's only a chance of that, and I don't know for sure if I can kill him yet. Also, I'd like to do that when I have not 84% XP. Oh. I'm being, like, specifically really cautious right now. Just because of my XP, but as soon as that's done, then... Then we can start taking some risks. Hey, who's been Hunter Marked? Hmm. Whatever it did, it must have died. Elements and diamond. Not too important. Okay. I'm going to keep pushing on this map a bit because it's giving me good XP and I don't seem to be in much danger. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Okay, for a second I thought I, I was able to convocate Huck. I mean, that would be amazing if I could move Huck with my convocation. What was that? Those are the Vile Toxin ones. I forget their name. No, not that. They have the explosions. Wow, that took a very long time to get to my first altar. Extra chaos damage, sure. It's a corb here. Fine. Ooh, Void Scepter. And a... Tiki, Tiki... Nope, not Tiki. Whatever that's called. Void Scepters are good. Uh, that's... Probably not worth anything. Nah. It's not the fractured mod I would want. <laughs> Ignite chance isn't very hard to come by. At least in my experiences. It can be a bit of a pain, but it's nothing like the other stats that you could potentially fracture. Let's throw all of you here. I wish I would stop accidentally putting away my scrolls every time I come back to town. Also, I want my dragon back. No, wrong. No, wrong dragon. How much the dragon's heart, anyways? 80 ish, looks like. I'll put you there. Okay. Now I have the Megar or Soul. I'm gonna immediately bring that back. Because there is nothing more important than crit protection. There we go. It basically means I can be crit five times in 20 seconds. Rather than as fast as they can attack. <laughs> that's a huge difference. Okay, I'll do the Ashen Wood one first, since that's just fast. And then I need to go hunt Tunnel Trap.
Wildwood. Uh, let's see what cool stuff we can find. Oh, purple, good. Follow the purple, follow the purple. Was it light of meaning? Oh, okay, that's... I was like, I, that sounds familiar. Yeah, it's because it's the fake king. Why can't this be the one you need to kill for the for your Senzi points? That would be so much nicer. It's so rude that they make you have to go find the other one. I have to Google how to do that because I do not know what the fuck is going on. There are, like, I must be missing something with, like, how many rituals I've gone through. Or not rituals, how many uh, living woods I've gone through and have still not found another one since the last one. Ooh. Oh, Primalist. Give me wisps. Okay, anything for me? Kill damage, life per hit bleeding. Oh, no, no, that's valuable. Someone please spawn spiders. There we go. I don't like this have to stand still nature of the sulfur flask, but I can't really think of a better flask to use as a quote unquote health flask. Because if I do stand still, I do get 5% regeneration for the four seconds the consecration la consecrated ground lasts. So like, it is a good deal if you can stand still. So you have to find, have to find a spot where you can stand still. So like, if you can retreat first, then I guess it's good, but... I mean, it still does something irregardless, but I don't know. Originally, I had a Quartz Flask, but I would rather have the Quartz Flask running a lot more, and the increased effect that I would want on it for the... Uh, for the faster regen is not going to benefit the Quartz Flask, really. It's only going to give me like an extra 7% spell suppression, and that's not very much for a build that does not stack that. If I was like stacking it and converting to spell dodge, it'd be different, but I'm not, so it isn't. Oh, there's the boss. Okay. Anything interesting here, or... Okay, no. We're good. You know, just preparing to level, we've actually almost leveled. <laughs> I thought that was going to be more of a challenge, but I guess not. Changing, like, fixing the flasks really helped. And so did... So did picking up the uh, Soul Thief over here. That was a really big deal. Plus, now I have more evasion rating and stuff, too. I have a 15% chance to evade natively now. And when I activate my flask, it goes up to 46. So that's pretty good for just for not being an evasion build. Out of curiosity, is there anyone here who's played Last Last Epoch? I'm considering adding that to uh, not necessarily adding it to my channel's roster, but like trying it on the channel, seeing what how I like it. I've played it before and it seemed interesting. I don't want to replace Path with anything. I don't think I don't think I'm ever gonna replace Path with anything, but I do want more games to delve into. 
it helps keep things fresh. Not that I'm li liable to burn out on path anytime soon, but... Alright, that's fair. It's very similar to path. The only difference is that, unlike path, I don't have a wealth of knowledge on it. So... That is one thing I kind of like to have with the channel, is I like the fact that I can share a wealth of knowledge. It makes makes you feel like the content's more also informative, not just comedic. But I don't know. I you don't you don't learn things by avoiding le learning things. So <laughs> I'm gonna rush tunnel trap. I know he's down to the bottom right, as always. That uh, Searing Exarch has been activated. Let's see if we can find an altar. Technically, I shouldn't rush the boss with Searing Exarch, seeing as I might get something good on an altar that's for a boss drop, but... I want to get Tunnel Trap out of the way. Feels like there's a lot of rares in this map. Does this have boosted rares? Yes, it does. Yeah, I was wondering about that. Ooh, that's a bit messy. Let's add even more monsters with my mark. Keep moving my minions every time. There's explosions. Getting better at convocating. I haven't really d played a whole lot of min. Oh, I leveled! Yay! More energy shield. I haven't played a whole lot of uh, minion builds in a while. Uh, the last one uh, I played Stone Golem. That one was pretty good. That was my first character that ever got to 95, nat naturally. So I was pretty happy with that. That was back when it was cheaper to get things like Awaken Multi-Strike, so I had Awaken Multi-Strike on them, and they were just very... <laughs> Awaken Multi-Strike with their slam skill was crazy. Darn it, I put... This is why I need Scrolls of Wisdom on me, and I can't just put them away. I want to check things like that. I want to check the fractured items. I don't want to bring them all home. Fine. Oh, Wisdoms. Wisdoms. There we go. That's seven. Okay. Are any of these valuable? Looking for tier one fractures. Tier one fractures. Nothing. Wait. That's a tier two fracture. That's actually really good for cold res fracture. That's 10c. I'll take it. Why not? I don't usually sell things. NZ stuff, but I might also be able to craft it in something, so. Okay, let's go Tunnel Trap. He should be right here. Unless he's already been killed. No, there he is. Ah, oh, he's triple empowered. Let's see how this goes. Ooh, he's eating my carrion golem. Let's respawn that. There we go. Dudry, 
Brand, Baron Brandis, and Essence Worm, I think. No. I'll keep the Essence Worm. It might not be Essence Worm. It might be confusing them, but I think it's Essence Worm. Ooh! Whoa! What was that? I reflexively hit, hit my quote-unquote health flask. Must have been triple empowered or something, or had an interesting affix. Could one of those always crit affixes? No, actually, that wouldn't matter. Because I only get crit once every four seconds now at max. I don't like the explosive man. Okay. Starkovas. I'll take you and corrupt you. I'm very low on Vol Orbs, though. Could use some more. I should just buy some. The, the, uh... Less valuable currencies are surprisingly higher value than usual this league. Initially, I thought the, the economy of this league was good because there's a lot of uniques that are usually way too expensive that are like build enabling and now they're more reasonable. But there's a lot of weird shit going on with this with this league's mechanics. Or not mechanics, with this league's um, economy. Well, in conjunction with the mechanics, I guess. Okay. So clear above the trial master and try him out. Eh, I'm hindered. Amp drops or divination cards. I'll take divination cards. Where are these random rares popping up from? I guess I did kind of just like rush to the south. I didn't really clear too much. What's going on over here? What are you looking for? Okay. You can kind of tell where things are based on where your minions go, because like the aggressive ones will hunt things down. Razor Dance. This is survival. Oh, I don't like the hinder. That's going to be a pain. Uh, does this matter to me? No, this doesn't matter to me because the monsters are going to hit me, gain charges, and give them to me. <laughs> and the charges don't even matter all that much to me. I could have picked Razor Dance there, but I'm trying to avoid... I, ideally, if I there's, like, another option that is also shitty that's, like, a one-time pick, it's probably not going to pop up again. So it's better to grab it there and then hold off on the other one so you can level that while you have worse options. Because you're guaranteed to get the multi-level, multi-tiered ones to keep leveling them up. You're always going to have one of your multi-tiered ones to level up in the options. Basically, I'm I'm playing so that like round 8, 9, 10, I'll be able to pick the stuff I know I can easily take without having any risks. 
So if I do get something stupid valuable, then I can really push for it. Asthma. If I have Miasma and uh, Razor Dance going right now, that's good. Uh, I don't know what just happened. <laughs> I'm going to have to replay that to find out. Oh, well. Yeah, I need my scrolls. Okay, so I have my Lord of my Tunnel Trap now. I'll go turn those in. Okay, so I don't think I'm going to use, I might use Tukahama, that requires stationary stuff. I don't really stay stationary very often. Hmm. I think I'm basically, basically going to be sitting between Yagul and Aberath. I'm going to be using Yagul when, in general, and then Aberath when there's burning ground. I don't think I'm going to actually use any of the others. Okay, so I'm just going to level Yoris then. Or I'm just going to level up Solaris with Yoris. Okay. Yoris. Temple. Okay, so I'll go do Temple. Then our defenses will be shored up. Wait, I don't have Temple Temple? I do have temple. Oh, I just was getting okay. I was just looking at uh, ivory temple. Let's see what do we have here. That's actually a really probably good pick. Uh, this is more dangerous, but it's more plot. I'll take this. I'll grab some fragments, why not? Saber scarabs, breaches, abyss. Eh, I'll take self fight, why not? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Not self fight, because I need the divine vessel to capture the map boss. Okay. Actually, I'll take R. Sulfite Intoxication isn't as good for this character. Thing is, I don't deal damage directly. The max resistances and the movement speed are good, though. Oh, okay, now there's a beast here. Whoa, okay. What was that? Give me Einhar. There we go. Okay, now that I have Einhar, I'm going to go in. Since he'll be with me now. I want the protection of him. Okay, so my energy shield regen's up to 830. Yeah, his, his boon of the first ones is really, really powerful.
Ooh, this is a beyond area. Nice. That's good. Whatever the boss is here, we'll drop something nice, probably. Where are you? That's not Katash. Who is that? That's Gore. But right, he is the pull. I have to be careful about that. Nope. Don't you dare. There we go. Eh. We try not to push too much when my my minions are killing things because the min all the monsters disappear now. Oh. Okay, that does not benefit me in any way. That means I move faster. I don't I don't need action speed. I don't deal damage directly. If it gave action speed to my minions, I'd consider it, but now. So I've been, like, highly considering swapping out my corpse walkers. I've been wondering if I would be better to pick something different. I don't know how much I actually need the, uh, the corpses around me, because do I do have damage reduction based on the corpses around me. But, like, based on having a corpse around me, but I usually have corpses around me, so I don't know if it's really worth it. It does mean that, like, when I'm wandering around before I kill a pack, I am in more danger than than when I kill the first thing in the pack. It's like that little hump to get over once you find a new pack. And I'm pretty sure that the phantasms from the penance mark do not leave corpses. But... No! No, 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 no! No! Not that! Oh... That got dicey very quickly. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering what I could potentially replace those with, because if there's something that would make me more durable, then it might be worth taking the risk of not always having corpses around me. Respawn my golem. Oh, a deceiver. I don't know if I ever mentioned this, but I swapped my anointment on my amulet because I wasn't really gaining benefit from most of the points here for Whispers of Doom, so... I just picked up Whispers of Doom on my amulet, and I got four points back for it. And I was able to put those four points to better use. No, 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 no. No. Let's not do that. Hello, Yoris. Ow. Ow. Gotta keep moving. No.
stealth. Oh, comes roots and a whatever the thing's called. Minion thingy. Heart band loot. Loot? Loop. Heart bound flute. That thing. Let's go back and get those. Or that abyss. I know I walked past one earlier. I have to go back for. It's always nerve wracking when I have to respawn the spiders. Because that's when I'm most vulnerable, is when I don't have spiders. My little gremlins. Oh, how I love them. No, let's everyone come over here. Hey, okay, from there. The bouncy man. Yeah. Ooh, my Respector Gem. I was leveling another Respector Gem. Ooh. It's an Awakened Sextance. I want to swap out the Specter Gem that I have as soon as I can. Can everyone come over here, please? Why aren't you... It thinks I'm on the other side, doesn't it? Right now. There we go. This game's so weird. Where is it? So I have a 2016 Spectre Gym. I would really like to go for a 2020 or a 2120 if possible. Because this last 4% is 4% all res. Which would make a big deal of difference. So I'm gonna need to gonna need to check that out. I don't honestly I don't even know if it was worth it to to level a twelve percent. Okay. Hi. That happened. I don't even know if it was worth leveling a twelve percent specifically because gem cutters prisms are so expensive now that Maybe that wasn't even worth it. Let's see. So they're both five apiece now. Eighty eight eight of them would be forty C. To buy a twenty, it would cost a hundred C. Okay, so it is actually worth it to just buy gem cutters to power this one up. Okay, so I will have to work on that. And I have this 2020 ice shot, which is pretty nice. Okay, throw stuff away. Hope I can get those abyss. I think I might have lost an abyss because I wasn't paying enough attention.
10% cast speed on Heartbound Loop. That actually might be really valuable. Maybe 20C. Uh, Guild Stash. Grab a couple more. Oh, it's not bad. A couple more gems. Level. That's a 23% plate bearer. I'll finish that. Okay, let's go see what happened to that abyss, because I think I got distracted and lost it. Yeah, I think that's what happened. Oops. Fortunately, my brain just does that sometimes. I don't know what was there that killed me this time, but it's gone now. Spark in the Flame for a Barracks Respite. Probably worth the couple C. Not very much, though. Move everyone over here. Ooh. Spicy. Okay, move everyone around. I'm really getting used to just go to wherever I want to stop and fight things and then convocate to move the turtle. Turtle delivery service. Because really, what are we besides just fair people who ferry our turtles around in life? Are any of us more than turtle fairies? Fairy as an F E R Y, not F A I R Y. Ooh, sextants. I like sextants. Oh, detonate. Uh, I think that's it. No, that's the start there. Okay, yeah, we're done. No, turtle positioning was not on my mind when I first decided to make this build. I was not like, hey, I need a skill to move my turtle. What am I doing? Tell me that. I'm kind of avoiding bossing on this character right now because I don't really know. I'm not very good with bossing on this character yet. I need some kind of focus practice. Oh, this has been burning a hole in my pocket for a while. I want to do a. Uh, what is it? So 45C, it's, uh, is the upgraded Labyrinth. And Azaro probably doesn't have very many protections against, uh, against chaos damage, so that might actually be kind of fun later. By later, I mean another day, not today. I want to become more acquainted with this build and also level her a bit more, too. Not... The bill isn't perfect. It's pretty darn good where it is, but it's not perfect. 
Wait. Why don't I have... I'm low on lightning res. Why don't I have more lightning res? What am I doing? 30%. There we go. 89. Okay, that's much better. No reason for my... any of my implicits to be below maximum. Gonna want to... Gonna want to get a Corrupt Grave Bind at some point, because... Currently, I don't really have... I mean, the only benefit of Grave Bind for me right now is... A tiny bit of armor innovation, and the nearby ca enemies kill... Nearby enemies killed by anyone count as being killed by you. Which is essential to the build. All the other stats are shit. So... I need, I need to find a corrupt version of that that's good. I know I can get like percent increased max energy shield on there, and I'm probably going to do that. Not really, can't really think of anything else that would benefit me. Oh, wait a minute. I have maximum, I have increased maximum or, I have Frenzy Charges now. I could get increased maximum Frenzy Charges on it, too. Though... Hmm. I don't know how, how Charges and Minions work, actually. If I have four Frenzy Charges, can I share four Frenzy Charges to Minions? Or are they capped at three like I usually am, unless they have, like, a plus to Charges? Hmm. I have to look into that, because if I can... Like, it'll be pretty easy to get plus Frenzy charges on here, so... If I could... If that's all it takes, then I could pick that up, as well as Max Energy Shield. And that would actually make it quite good, because... It's like a million and a half DPS per Frenzy charge for my build. Okay, let's see. Hmm. I kind of want to go hunting for the King of the Mist. Okay, Wiki. Is there some way that I can find the King of the Mist better? Be an area level of 81 plus. Okay, so here 14 plus. Find the three pedestals called Dark Offerings. War for the Wildwood quest must be unlocked. Yeah, I know. I mean, I've had that quest for a very long time. There's got to be some other explanation why it's just impossible to find it. Hmm. Top <laughs> one of the top results on Google. Hunt for King of the Mist Stronghold is the most frustrating experience in the entire game. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's funny. Okay, well, this is all bitching. Okay, here's a strategy. Let's see. Be fighting him once every 15 to 20 maps tops. Okay. Chain through poor tier 14 maps. You want to farm him for his loot or want to find him fast. When he spawns, he usually spawns in a diagonal direction from your spawn point from the perspective of the, of the screen. Okay, so this is a 
never sync link. I'm going to I'm going to post it in chat just so that anyone else can see it because this actually is a pretty big deal, I think, for finding it because I'm going to I'm going to fucking go find him now. Hi Pyro. No worries. We're just glad to see you. We are trying to figure out how the fuck you actually can find the King of the Mist in this game, because I've seen him once, and that's it. So, Neversync is saying to chain a bunch of Tier 14 maps until you find him, basically. Uh, walk diagonal from your spawn point. You will not have any Wisp leading to him. Uh... So you want to go in the direction away from the wisps. Uh, okay. Enter the wildwood, run three to four seconds in diagonal direction. If you return, if you hit a wall or a random wisp event, and then check other directions. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So it doesn't really matter. Which of these maps do I hate? I think I hate maze. Uh, I don't hate maze. But plateau. Plateau's okay. Plaza. I hate plaza. I'm gonna do some maps I hate specifically. Relic Chamber's fine. Dig I hate. Curtis Curse is fine. Dog. Dog is fine. Basilica. Basilica I hate. Bramble Valley. Kinda sucks. Coliseum. Coliseum's okay. Grave trough. Grave trough is eh. Museum's eh. Orchard. Orchard really sucks. Okay, so I'm just going to pick maps that I know are shitty. That I don't like running specifically. So that I'll just do this and just go to the Wildwood. I'm not going to do anything else in the map, so it doesn't matter what the map boss is. Here's what I'm going to do. I have an idea, actually. I... I'm going to run these maps white, just because I'm only going to be here for killing him. I don't, I don't need to do anything special here. I just need to find the King of the Mist. See, I don't want this to be a challenging fight. I just want to get through the fight and have the completion on it. Once I have completion, I can worry about fighting him in a way that is actually challenging. But till then, no. Okay, so I'm set up on my Pantheon now. Okay, I'm gonna unselect. Actually, no, I'll keep Xart selected. That sounds fine. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to walk a few steps away from the Wildwood. Going looking for the Searing X-Arch minions. Okay, there they are. Oh, I got a Hawk too. So now that that spawned, that means that I got progress for this. this I got Searing X-Arch progress for just doing that. So I'm going to go now and do this. Okay. Diagonal, that has wisps. Let's go this way. This doesn't really have wisps. Hit a wall. Okay, go back. Start. Cool. Diagonal. Uh, does this count as a wisp event? I don't know. It said stop. Turn around if you hit a wall or a wisp event. I guess I'll count that as a wisp event. 
And then top left, the wall, top right. Oh, wisp event. Okay, so I can turn around then. Ah. Wow, I actually managed to get frozen. That's a surprise. Okay, let's burn all my light. Okay, and out we go. Okay, that was map one. Map two. Not you. Let's see how many maps it takes to do this. It's interesting that he suggests running diagonal specifically. It must be how, like, the, t the zone is tiled. Okay, let's spawn the... Yep, there's the Syrian X-Hard stuff. Oh, I see another hook. Nice. Cool. Oh, I'll take that. Okay, got the Syrian X-Hard progress. So I'm getting double duty on this. Okay, up to the right. No. Up to the bottom left. Or bottom right. Uh, oh, there is a warden here. Well, I will check them for stuff, but probably not worth it. Okay, all of you stop this. Okay, so it should be here. Bottom left. A wall. Okay, and that's this zone is done. Map two done. Basilica. I hate Basilica specifically because of having to wait for Innocence's phases. Okay, let's trigger the Searing X-Arch. There we go. I'm doubling up to get the progress from Searing X-Arch just because, I mean, the Searing X-Arch fights are worth over a div apiece, so I might as well get the progress while I'm using up my maps. Okay, so from here, I'm going to go top right. No. Bottom right. I'm going to just keep going clockwise now. Bottom left. What's that? Oh, it's a warden. Ooh, a rage gain one. That actually is valuable. So is the wither one. There's just a bunch of valuable ones here. Okay, going to... I'm going to change my directive a little bit and get enough wisps to buy one of those flasks or one of those tinctures. Any of the flasks that ha or any of the textures that have rage on them specifically are worth a lot of money. If you see any of those, always check them.
Okay, that was third map. Fourth map. I'm going to change the stream name. Ah, sure. I'll go back for that. Ah. Am I just seriously going to get... Okay, there we go. I swapped prematurely, and I wasn't able to move because of where I keep my uh, portals on my bar. That was too silly. I almost got myself killed, like, I, th completely by my own fault, is what I'm trying to say. Uh... Okay, let's go back. We only get one shot at the King of the Mist anyways, so it doesn't matter how many portals we have left. Um, nope, that was not what I meant to do. Okay, well, I don't want to waste portals. <laughs> Even if it doesn't matter that much. Doing X search. One for me, will you? There we go. Okay, I'm going to grab a... Oh, sextants. Nice. Oh, yes. Okay, that's going to make exploring really easy. <laughs> no, god damn it. <laughs> Why am I so bad at this game? That erased the shrine buffs, too. Wow. Well, easy come, easy go. Okay. Clockwise. Top right. Experimental harvest. Okay, that's not... Okay, top right is a bust, but I will do this because it's like 30c worth of essence in the tier 16s, or in like the red maps, 20 to 30. That was 734, that's pretty good. Okay, bottom right. Okay, that's a wall. Arguably that was two walls, but whatever. Okay. Too many wisps. I don't like that. And there's a worm here. Okay. That's a bit busy. Anyone anything crazy interesting? No. Okay, I'll just go back then. I think this is where I started. And I'll go up here. Ah, uh, it's looking a whole lot like... yeah. That's a bust. Now I'll actually go out the portal intentionally. <laughs> Orchard. That was map four. Okay, right, let's go... Ooh! Love oh, intoxication, nice. Let's go piss off the Exarch. Get a strong box, why not? Okay, that's the Exarch. Ooh. A lot of lag today, I don't know what's going on. It's 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 client side. I don't know why though. My computer hasn't been running that long. Okay, top right is a bust. Bottom right. I'm 
I'm going to call that a wall. Uh, I think this is the start. Hard to tell sometimes. Um, exquisite light of meaning. Oh, no, I don't need another ritual vessel. Oh, that's 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 network lag. All of Canada is having a bit of issues right now with uh with snow, so that explains what's going on. Okay, this is this entire thing's a bust. Too many walls. Me out. Let me out. I want out. Here we go. Okay, that was the fifth map. There is actually a strategy where you walk into uh, 14 plus maps, upset the X-Arch and leave just to like quickly get to uh, uh, more invita incandescent invitations to sell. So I'm kind of playing off that strategy a bit and getting double bon double benefit from doing this strategy for King of the Mist too. Whatever. Okay, top right. Uh, that's definitely a lot of walls. Okay, bottom right. Wisp event. I care and golem don't like that. <laughs> okay, well I guess they can kill some stuff. Okay. Not really what I'm looking for though. Bottom left. No. And top left. No, another wisp event. Cleared some of these rares. Give me some loot. Okay. Now let me out. Oh wait, if I don't intend to do more of the map, I can just portal out. I didn't even think about that. Sure, I'll do a plaza. Why not? That was map six. This is map seven. There we go. Upset the X-Arch. There we go. I've been told I'm good at upsetting people. <laughs> no. But it is funny. Say it that way. Okay. Bottom right is giant wall. Okay, there's like no ways I can go here. This entire thing is a mess. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I'll do the Beyond event and then get out of here.
It's gore. Or gore. New Avatar, Legend of Gore. That was map seven. Orchard. Legend of Korra was actually pretty good in my opinion. I really liked it. I never realized I wanted to see the world of Avatar The Last Airbender go through the Industrial Revolution, but I guess I did. Okay, top right is a wall. Bottom right. Is a wall. Bottom left is a wall. Top left. Lack of events is giving me hope. No. No, not no. No, 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 no. no. We'll take the shit from all these things, though. We do not let rival spiders live. Kill the unbelievers. Everyone must follow me, the bird mother. If you do not, you do not deserve to live. I say to the spiders. That would be an awful way to, to, to think as a streamer if I was talking to my viewers. Follow me or die. <laughs> no, dear God. I take no prisoners. Be here if you want. Don't be here if you don't want. Ooh. Asp shrine, nice. Chance to duplicate currency. I like that. And quant. That's a great, great mix. Okay, wait. Uh, okay. Uh, the main point of follower only chat is when you have like a really large following already and you need to slow down the chat the wisp event same with like subscriber only chat it's like when you have a really large following and you need to calm everything down also if you're dealing with problems yeah like a bot raid Okay, we're there. Okay, so bottom left. All right, that is a warden. It's not that I'm unhappy to see you, warden, but I'm unhappy to see you. Okay, I'm going to count that as an event. So, top left now. No. Um, excuse me. Damn little missiles. At least it expedited me getting home. 
That was the eighth map. Orchard. More orchard. For anyone who wonders why I don't like Orchard, it's because it's it has the vision of justice as the boss. You know, the one with the laser. I do not like that boss. I don't even know what damage type she uses. She's just awful. Ooh, impenetrable and shrouded. Nice. Cool. Hmm. Not gonna activate any of that any of that shrine because it might affect me during the boss fight. If I get lucky enough to find one. Also, I'm gonna finish the abyss. This bird, this rare's name is Dirt Guard. I promise I am not here to steal your dirt. I will never, in fact, be here to steal your dirt. Okay, so their top right is this big tree. I have to, like, actually pay attention to the landmarks, or I'm just going to get just confused. Okay, big tree, bottom left. Oh my gosh! Dark Offering! We found it! I don't know how to describe how angry I am right now. <laughs> like, literally, that just happened because I was like, oh, my, my headphones, I need to adjust them quickly. Wow. Okay. 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 I'm not going to be mad about this because this is the ninth map. That just proved that we can do this if we just follow this strategy. I really can't get back into this, can I? I'm going to try even though I don't think I can. Sad. Okay, so. One. <laughs> I'm so pissed off with myself right now. I'm so pissed off with myself. My god, that is... I can't describe how upset I am with myself right now. Ugh. Uh. <laughs> I've been looking for that fight for the entire leak. Like, since I leveled up my first character. And now it is gone. Now I am mad. Yeah, at least we know it works. And that is... That is the one reason why I'm not just walking away from my computer right now, is because I know that I can get it now, that this is a functional strategy. I'm going to need to signal boost... Uh... Never sinks post. Whoa, okay. Okay, acceleration shrine, phase run, and a ninety percent movement speed flask is a really fucking big deal, apparently. Isling Maria 
Vicious. That's an orb. Uh... I don't actually know if there's any things I have to unveil anymore. Okay. Okay, well that makes this very easy. <laughs> okay, top right. Well, that was the Huntress, but I'm gonna, or the Primalist, but I'm gonna keep going. I'll hit a wall. Okay, hit a wall. No, I see those little explosive bastards. No, thank you. I'm not gonna blow myself up again. I don't know how to express how frustrated I am. Oh, it's okay. Everything's okay. Oh, wow. That's actually worth a lot of money. Okay. Change of, change of plans. Going for wisps now. That's worth 40c. See, if I died to the King of the Mist, I would not be mad in the way that I am right now. I'm mad because it's specifically my fault that I didn't clear the area first. I'm glad at least, and this is my one my one thing that makes me happy and okay with this is that well besides the fact that the strategy works is that i clipped that <laughs> so at least others can feel the schadenfreude of me absolutely just losing such a good chance Oh. Something just occurred to me. I need to complete this map. Because this is the map that drops the incandescent invitation. I wasn't paying enough attention. I should have done it on like a mesa or something. Oh, never mind. Marine is close. At least it's not one of the shitty bosses. I was gonna do, like, a really quick boss, just so that I could, uh, get it easy. Okay, there we go. How much are these right now? Whoa, 2.7 div now. And that's why people will just run shitty maps just enough to do the first, uh, just enough to wake up the Searing Axe Arch, and then will immediately... Uh, leave the map and then do another one. It's actually like a really reasonable strategy because all you need is you need to run 27 maps you don't care about and one you do. What was that? Compelling etching. Oh. Well, at least... It's, ooh. Essences. Keep going. Okay, that's a wall. I don't know. That Wisp event wasn't directly in my way, so I'm not sure about it, but I think this is where I started. Yeah, I think this is where I started. Okay. Bottom left. There's a Warden. At least I'm getting some good stuff from the Wardens, if nothing else. Okay, well, I think the warden actually means I should turn around specifically, but uh, I don't know. Okay.
Okay, so that was map one. I don't know why I said that before. I don't know why I posted that before I did the map. I'll stop putting away my puzzle wisdom. I need that. Okay. I don't actually, I don't really like Maze. Plateau's okay, I enjoy it. Ghetto's okay. Cursed Crypt is okay. Caldera, I don't actually like all that much. Use up my Calderas. And Relic Chamber, I don't actually like all that much. Map two. Oh, cool. I'll do the delirium while I look for the Searing X Arch. There we are. Get me to tier three. Currency, okay. Cancel it. Now let's go to the Wildwood. Okay, top right is blocked. Bottom right. That's a well. Pick that up. I did not actually successfully pick that up. <laughs> That's okay. I'll trigger all my flask, then I'll give it get it to give me more flask charges. Okay, so southwest, no, northwest. Yeah, I'm gonna say no. Oh, it actually doesn't make sense for me to leave through the portal. I should through the uh with the Wildwood portal. I should just portal out manually because otherwise I have to go through a loading screen just to get to a portal that I'm otherwise going to use normally. Okay, third map. Oh. Okay. Searing X search. I don't actually mind grinding to find things. It doesn't really bother me. Give me my orbs, my jorbs. I appreciate your reassurances, by the way, Pyro. <laughs> I, I am okay, though. 
I just had to have my moment of frustration. Okay, force cash, so southeast the bust. We'll kill the rares for money, though. Okay. This log I'll use as my point. No. Okay, that was number three. Why do I have a 50C item when I have a 49C tab? That's weird. We're a little over two hours now. I'm going to try to find the King of the Mist again, and hopefully that will be the uh, where we can end the stream. Just hope that it's not going to be too hard to find him. Okay, northeast. Warden. Rage. No. Looking for a rage tincture if I'm going to get anything. Okay, this big tree is where I started. Southeast. Wait, what? Oh, there's a warlock right here. The marionette is worth something, isn't it? Eh. Okay. Southeast is a bust. Southwest is also a bust. Northwest. Yay, zoom. Oh. Darn it. Oh, that's a lot of explosions following me. I really hate those. Because it's one thing when you have, like, the giant slow-moving meteors. Like, those are pretty easy to see. But the tiny balls of green light are not that easy to see. I'm activating the altars because I'm pretty sure there is a challenge for completing altars. 
I would check, but I don't. What's that? Okay, everyone move over for a second. Please and thank you. What is that on the ground? It's a compass of some sort. Why does that feel like... a notification that there's something here? Okay, top right's not right. Where did that just go? Right here, yeah. It's pointing in the cardinal, not the cardinal direction. It's pointing in on diagonals too, which is supposedly how we're supposed to do this. Okay, no. I don't care about you. Okay, let's try this way. Hmm, farmalist. Hard to tell where I started. <laughs> there it is. Oh, and the top left is nothing. Okay. Or. With nothing else, I am getting little bits of money. I'm getting expensive tinctures and charms. And I'm getting lots of Searing Axe Arts progress. Which is worth a lot of money, too. Actually, right now is effectively 0.1 of a div every activation, every time you find the Searing Axe Arts in a map. If you divide the uh, the invitation by the number of things you need to find. Okay, so there's these goalposts of trees here. Let's try that. Okay, I'll call that the proper wall. On my goalpost again. There they are. Okay, bottom right. Southeast. Don't know if the funerary, funerary altar matters. But I did find a primalist, which would suggest this is the wrong way. No. And there's a wall anyways, okay. Where are my goalposts? I can pass them. Ah, oh, there are my goalposts, okay. Bottom left. Nope. Fifth map. No. That's not a useful map. I shall put that over there. I don't accidentally run it and go looking for the searing or not searing XR. Going looking well actually go looking for the searing XR and for the, the King of the Mist at a place where they just aren't. That would be annoying. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, Diviner's strong box. Nice. Ooh, two sam Oh, two samurai's eye for us. Watcher's eye. Yes. That's awesome. Those gotta be expensive. Oh my gosh, they're 1.3 div a piece, and I got two of them. I guess I am certainly making money, regardless whether I'm accomplishing my goal or not. Okay, top weight, no, 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 no. Okay, let's figure things out. Uh. Okay, so I'll try to pay attention to this tree here. I'm bad without landmarks. They might be near this lake or something. Because, yeah, I've never seen them either. Okay. Southeast. Okay, no, that ends. Okay, southwest. Nope. I think if I hit the slightest wall, I need to turn around. I think that should be my strategy. Nope, not five, six. We got after 9 last time, and apparently this strategy tends to work within 15 to 20 maps, if you're, if you're getting unlucky. Okay, Wildwood. Okay. Top right's a bust. Bottom right. Bottom right's a bust. Okay. I'll use this rock here as a marker. Okay. Bottom left is basically bust. Top left. And I found the wrong thing. How much are these ritual devices even worth it? Is this, is this actually worth me, my time? No, they're worth one sea apiece. I'm leaving. Not killing him for one C. Okay. I'll have to bring up some more maps if it doesn't work out. And I can't always use maps I like, too. Like, I don't have to just burn off all the ones I don't like, but... If I run out of maps I don't like. <laughs> but. Eh. Yes, Searing X Arch. Okay. What is my. I guess I can use this big tree as a marker. Northeast. Wall. Okay, I need my, my spiders. Okay. Lord's tree? Wait, that's not the right tree. I know it's not the right tree because this is to the right of it. Okay, it's this tree. Southeast. Yeah, I'll definitely call that a wall. Phase run. Uh, activated and 
Okay. This is... No! Okay. Blow my fat flask because I saw that I could just regenerate them immediately. Okay, top left. Uh, nope. Okay, so we've seen one in 16 maps so far. That's pretty good. It's a lot better than I've been doing, that's for sure. Okay, Plateau isn't very fast, so I'll just burn those. I'm not juicing these very much because I don't want the big guy, if we encounter him, to be juiced. Because I want to beat him. I don't care about how... I don't care about how good, like how much quant there is in the map. I don't care about the reward I get from him. I just want to beat him. I can get my sensi points, and then I can worry about actually making money off of him, specifically. But, like, I barely even know the fight still, so it'd be better to go in in a form where he's his weakest, and then learn the fight, and then try it in a more challenging scenario. That'd just be the smarter way to do it. Okay. Uh oh, that flag. Uh oh. Whoa, big big lag. Okay. I wonder what that seal on the ground meant. I don't see one here. Oh, there's another one. Okay, everyone get away from that for a second. I want to take another picture. Interesting. Are these supposed to be the cardinal directions? I kind of want to follow... Is Does it point anywhere in specific? Why is it... There's someone... There's a corpse on top of it. I don't- it doesn't look like it's pointing anywhere. It just looks like it's pointing the cardinal directions. Okay, well, top right is a bust. So let's go bottom, southeast. Okay, southeast is a bust. I'm gonna use it as a point of reference because it seems something- oh, oh, found the fake. Hang. Oh, go away. I don't care. Stop yelling. <laughs> oh, what? Okay, this is almost certainly... Dud. Yeah... Yeah... Oh. Okay, I'll take a six link. Why not? No disadvantage to that. Ooh, an additional shrine implicit map. Okay. Oh, map boss gains hinder. I'll take this.
Okay. There is a rock here. I don't know if I want to use that as my... My thingy. My landmark. Okay, I'll use these four trees here as my landmark. Okay, well... Uh, wait, what? Okay, there's, there it is. Fun right now. Okay, I'm gonna call that at least one dead end. Okay, southwest. Nope. We're gonna go on a little bit longer, and we're gonna see... We're gonna see how we're feeling in, let's say, when we're done these maps. But I am starting to get a bit tired now that we're two and a half hours in, so... Let's see how this goes. That was the eighth map. This is number nine. Oh, I see a shrine. I'll take shrine. I can promise you that if I see easy money, I'm going to take it. Well, not that the shrine is money, but it is good. It is a good benefit for survival. Okay. I'll use this as my... My... Why am I always having so much trouble with that word? Landmark. Maybe because I'm trying to multitask. Okay, landmark. Southeast. Uh, wall. Southwest. Oh, a nameless shrine. Oh, I should have actually checked what that was before I hit it. What's that? 200% increased experience. Hmm. I might actually want to complete this map. For the sake of the experience. This is it tier 14? Okay, that is definitely a wall. I'm just killing shit for experience. Okay, anything... Does Warden have anything interesting? Rarity. Nah. Okay. Seeing as I have a have 200% increased XP, I am going to use that. Those are pretty rare buffs in my experiences to find. Oh, right. I need my spiders to spawn so I can actually deal damage. At least we're on Plateau, which is a map I do not mind at all. I actually kind of like this map, though. So. so it is fine. Wait, was this the additional shrine? This was the additional shrine map. I didn't actually mean to run this yet. I was like, huh, there's an awful lot of shrines here.
Give me an Esh or something. Come on. Come on, give me a Breach Lord. No, you want to. Ah, well. I really love this stealth from phase run. It is so nice. I'm really happy with how this this build is starting to run now. I feel like I'm start like I've really gotten it to where it's where I want it to go eventually. Like I could probably do more with it and I intend to do more with it, but I am happy that I like I'm happy where it is now at least. Like it's at a comfortable level where I can just run around in high red tier maps and not really be concerned about anything. down here. We have another minute and a half left on our XP buff. Sure, I'll take that. Give me some more minions to kill. And unfortunately, I think that's almost everything. Let's see if I can use up the last little bit of the buff on Trailmaster. Uh, fuck. Oh, it's stone circles. Damn it. <laughs> Do not like stone circles. Especially not with Raging Dead. Which was not a, the right choice. Ooh. Fair bit of lag, too, which is really not helping me. Whoa, okay. What is going on? Out. Okay, I'm going to finish this round and then call it because I don't really want to lose the XP that I just gained. And that used up my XP buff completely. I'm pretty happy with that. That got me at least 10% of a level right there, so. Ooh, this fracture went apparently is valuable. 480 armor. Yeah, that's pretty good. Ah, uh, they're probably an armor witch. That was our ninth map. How dangerous is this? Not very. Okay, we found we've done 18 maps and we found the King of the Mist once. Apparently 15 to 20 is the average like maximum for 
seeing him once. So we're we're already we already are doing pretty good. So it might we might not get another King of the Mist for at least a few more maps. We'll have to see. Oh, additional Harbinger map. That's nice. Okay, let's finish off the Delirium. Okay, and pick up the Delirium. Cartographer's Orb. Nice. There we go. Okay, so I'll use this great as a great landmark. Ah. Uh. <laughs> okay, well, that's definitely. Uh, this is a beyond area. I will do this for the chance of a uh, beyond fusing, which is worth like 40 right now. That's totally worth doing. Nope. Ah, oh, it's Katash. That's fine. Gonna hide over here. Hey, okay, thanks. There we go. Eh. Edge hey, jewelers. That's fine. Not amazing, but it's it, it's okay. It's something. Money's money. Okay, southwest. Wall. Northwest. Every time I see one of these knots in the trees, I'm like, is that one of the same crests that we saw on the ground? I'm, I'm kind of paranoid now. Cause like if that's if that crest that we keep seeing is like, hey, this means that there's a king of the mist here. I'm gonna be like kind of annoyed if it there was like that clear of a thing. Okay, so we're there's nothing here. I don't want I want to make sure that I want to do that it's cuz I want to do it for the XP so I'm going to make sure there's more shit on that before I do it. Cartographers. What's worth 20c? The chrome is worth 10, 15, and the armor scraps and jewelers orbs aren't really worth much. Okay, that's the X search. And the wild. Okay, so what should I use? I use this double tree here. Okay, northeast. Wall. Immediately. Southeast. Wait. Dark offering? Dark offering? Dark Offering? Yes! Wow, okay, so 2 and 19 maps. That is pretty good, because this would be the 11th map then. So that'd be... No, that would be... Since we did 9 maps before, that would be 2 and 20 maps. So we're doing but 1 every 10 maps now. Okay, okay. King of the Mist. The real King of the Mist fight. 
to do this now. I'm scared. <laughs> Offering. Offering. Offering! And we enter the crux of nothing... nothingness. Hello. Oh. I wonder if this build is going to be any good against him. I hope he doesn't have, like, a huge amount of chaos resistance or something I just happened to find about. Where go? Oh, he's pretty low health already. Oh, he's down. Okay, so he's going to swap to... Okay, so we're going to be going through here. We follow the wisps. And the wisp will lead us where we need to go. Okay, and now we have his second phase. Where he turns into Supermodel Diablo. Uh, tree edition. No! Well, I have mixed feelings now. I have very mixed feelings now! Uh. Does anyone know what that is? And how angry I should be? <laughs> oh, no. Okay, well, I did kill him, thankfully. Man, I stopped moving because he wasn't looking at me. And I didn't want to walk in front of him. Oh, that was so stupid. I shouldn't have stopped moving. I'll have to find out what that is. Actually, no. I'm going to look it up right now. King of the Mist. POE. What is that? Oh, that is the that which was taken. With four random charm modifiers. Oh. Well, I would really have liked that. I mean, like, yeah, that would have been kind of nice, honestly. I'm going to go back and see if there's, like, some special portal because I killed him. So get that, but there probably isn't, knowing this game. Yeah. Oh. Well, okay. Okay. Most importantly, we killed him. We killed him, and also I got a challenge of some sort. I don't know what that was. I saw it. Was it this one? No, it wasn't. Or with an M. What is this? Wow, I've killed a lot of rare monsters, apparently. Let's start with an Malignant Mist Manifestations. Defeat the King of the Mist without getting more than three stacks of Shadow Surge, without taking damage from Ritual Meditation or Ritual Dance, and without getting being hit by an Exploding Toads. So basically, except for dying, we did that fight perfectly. <laughs> that's... that's ironic. But you know what? I'm not too unhappy with that like we got a challenge completion for doing that and we got our last we should have gotten our last point from that or no we need to, i need to go back and talk to a warlock now and then i will get a point so for the sake of completion i'm gonna go find a warlock Yeah, I'll just use this one. I'm a warlock. I want to complete this and get my ascendancy points. Not that I really need them, but like... Actually, I don't need them at all, but that doesn't matter to me. I just want to be able to complete this ascendancy, because I, I like feeling complete. Okay, Exarch minions. Okay, cool.
I use the same strategy just to see if I can find him that way. Answer's looking like no. I assume this is about to lead me to a primalist. Yeah. Well, that's not exactly who I was hoping to see, but, I mean, it's something. Are any of these things valuable? Okay, crypt multi per power charge seems to be valuable. Sure, I'll buy that. might actually be faster just to go to the reliquary and do this because i don't need a good warlock i just need to find any warlock and they will give me the sentencing point okay purple wisps follow the purple wisps and there he is oh yay i have now fully ascended as a warlock, the first of the three ascendancies that I have gotten. Okay. Dark Effigy doesn't really help me, and Sangromancy doesn't help me, so quantity of wisps it is. Okay. Now, if I can get the Warden on my other character... And then maybe the Primalist on my other character, too. Or I could temporarily swap this character to do to have using a writhing jar and then go for it that way. I don't know. It doesn't it doesn't really matter ultimately. Okay, I'm happy that we have finally defeat him in the Defeat? I'm happy that we have finally defeated him in the end. Because that has been weighing on my mind for a while and it's been like it's it's so annoying that they had to make it that complicated that I had to follow a guide just to figure it out. Like, that's that's a bit of a pain. I don't know, because like I I say this at times, but but I do genuinely think that casual players should have a fair shot at this, so if they just don't want to look something up, that they can just wander into this stuff, it shouldn't be this hard. I really don't think it should be. Let's end this stream off with a little bit of gambling. First, with Emperor's Luck. Which almost never gives anything, but I mean, hey, it's always fun to check. Hmm. Now, the Samurai's Eye is guaranteed money if I sell the Divination cards, but I could gamble it. I gotta think about that. I might, I might gamble those, I might not. If I do, I'll wait till I'm on stream for it. Okay. Wow, we did a whole lot today. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. I really appreciate it. To those on YouTube, I don't know how you managed to get through this whole thing, but uh, I like people like you. <laughs> so remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And see you later.